At a skybox to the Bulls games, gave Kim Fox my tickets. Had real lunch with a billionaire, I need a hundred mil to get with him. Then seen Negroes I vouch for, post dude shit on their Twitter. I brought Pooh Shahi to my block, gave him my Glock with an extension. She boy Lil Dirk, man. You already know all things sports and entertainment. And um, I ain't even gonna rap NBA Young Boy because I, I don't even know how to say his lyrics. Let me try to add, add a little bit. Of, I should have should have another Percocet, should have another pain, should have another. As y'all can see in this image by DJ Academics, y'all remember they was beefing, and I I feel like the beef started over a woman, which that's what most beef start honestly when you really break it down. But um, you know, Dirt gone, Young Boy gone, and um, you know, the beef is more than likely over, and. You know, King Von, he in the ground. Um, you know, so my whole point of all of this is y'all notice that uh, acad people used to talk about academics and U Square. Remember he made all that the videos about the war in Chirac years ago? You ever notice the last person standing is a square? Didn't DJ Academics get voted the number one influencer or top something in uh, podcasters? But they're gone. Uh, young boy gone. Academics who got a master's degree from Rutgers University is probably the last one of the last ones standing, you know? And now you see everybody now want to be podcasters like DJ Academics. Um, this sad, like I said, you had two talented brothers, young men, honestly, you know, uh, young boy, which I didn't hear his music. One of my daughters liked it. I, I really can't understand it lyrically. I, I have, I can't, I literally can't understand what he's saying. But, um, you know, he's had his trials and tribulations with his demons. And now he got to do fair time and dirt mate, honestly do the rest of his life in jail um so you know it's just so it's, it's, it's a waste of talent and honestly the real winners is you know the record the record labels the jimmy ivines the leo cohen's these um uh what's his name um who more i carry ex-husband you know the tommy matolas those are the real real winners at all of this you know what i mean the people who, who run these record labels so you know I, I just hope that that people can see you know both of these two brothers man while they're very talented they probably gonna have to you know to open up some um some cheeks and, and, and make a cough for another man you know there's a good chance that, that both these men are in protective custody they sit in their cell 23 hours a day you know both these people have many kids that now their fathers will not be there with them well again they both are talented artists they never had to go down that route you know so i, I just really hope that again please 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 it's time to save the youth man and more than likely drill music is over it kind of stopped anyway i feel like once dirk and i mean dirk once vine and um duck got got deleted and then the old block six went down it kind of got kind of quiet for the most part but it's it's, it's over now <laughs> it's over they sat there and let, and let the record companies get rich super rich just to turn around and get these brothers locked up and like i said some of these brothers are now in the ground and it wasn't worth it, you know. I'm sure that if that if uh if 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 you could snap your fingers and Duck came back to life, I'm sure Duck Duck, Duck wouldn't do it no more, you know. Or he would have let Chicago, you know what I mean? So it ain't worth it. Just like the song he uh, Duck had uh, his last video, Dead uh Dead Witches. I'm gonna say that for YouTube. Yeah, it got thirty something million views, but he wasn't here to celebrate it, you know what I mean? And and really, when you listen to the music, all it was talking about was unfortunate Negroes dying. You know what I mean? So we gotta stop this, man. We gotta stop this madness. And um that's why it's cool to be a square because while Dirk and Youngboy gonna be gone for quite some time, academics gonna be here to stay. Some of y'all favorite people who y'all like, Adam Twenty Two, who is a culture vulture, but he'll be here to stay. Vlad to be here to stay. You know what I mean? So their platforms keep getting bigger. And like I said, you notice know, the WAC one hundred, all these other people now they they started trying to come over to podcast. You know what I mean? Even uh what's his name? I'm not casting over. Casting over gone too. Um, what's his name? Uh who the one who really who started all of this? The one Troy Ave. Troy Ave was beef tax stone. You know what I mean? Tax me and tax, you know, you you you're taking pistols and and uh at parties and stuff in New York City, man. Come on now. You already you already know what time it is. But that's why I said, my bad if y'all can hear my darts, but that's why said, it ain't worth it, man. Get you some security. You show up with the boys in blue. Think like Drake, Nikki. I mean Drake, Nikki. Drake, Kendrick, Cole, Jay Z, man. You know what I'm saying? When they walk around, they walk around with suits, ex-military. You know, active police officers. You know what I'm saying? Didn't um, what's his name? Um, Butter. Didn't Butter just get locked up, running from the police and all of that? <laughs> like, <laughs> man, this may go down as the well. I say the 2010s and up was the most dangerous time in, in, in music. 
but you you seen a mass extermination live. You know what I'm saying? All of all that talent gone, <laughs> literally gone. Yeah, they changed the sound, but they gone. So I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. Tell me what y'all think.